Hey, doing everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo. Today we're going to be installing uh, new armrests on the Scoia and the armrest covers. Uh, first thing we got to do is go ahead and clean this up. So I'm going to use all-purpose cleaner and just spray them on and wipe them down. Make sure, and then we're going to put them in uh, and then put the covers over them. This should be like you know within 20 minute install. Shouldn't take long. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So these are not much better than what I have as far as you know quality wise as far as i put them up from a junkyard especially this one this one goes in the driver's seat uh but i'll show you how my driver's seat looks actually you got a hole so all this separated so this is a lot better uh for now until i can figure out or find some newer ones but yeah all we need to do is just spray the all-purpose cleaner i'm using the simply green one and just wipe them down this thing is pretty good as you can see it just takes off a lot of that stuff all these over the years just been used and abused now these are decently enough clean so we'll move on to the other one and then we'll go into the car and uh I'll install these. All right, before we get into back to the Sequoia, I just want to let everybody know that it's summertime and it's time to drive the 240 again. Um, I will be uh, working on this and there's a lot of stuff that I need to do to it and updating it. So if you're interested or if y'all want to see content like this with the 240, just let me know. I know a lot of the Sequoia guys are also car guys. So, all right, and for the Sequoia guys that have cars uh comment below and tell me what cars do you have uh as your toys again my score is my daily but it's becoming a project now and then uh the 240 is, is fully built as far as suspension and engine uh just the interior stock but i'm gonna go and replace almost everything it's been about seven years since i replaced the suspension or adjusted anything so yeah uh if you want to see more content on the 240 um let me know. I'll probably uh, upload some, take a break from the Sequoia because uh, everything is on back order or I'm waiting like four months for them. But yeah, so the Ford is gonna get some love and a lot of new goodies. Uh, I need, uh, I just get, I've been collecting parts for it. It's hard to find the OEM parts, so yeah. But let's get into the uh, Sequoia. All right, so as you can see, my driver armrest, this is not my doing. This is the previous owner's doing. Uh, I'm the second owner of this uh, Sequoia, so yeah, I don't know how he did this, but this needs to be replaced. So as I uh, said earlier, I got the one for it here. Uh, it's not any better, but it's still cracked, still messed up. I need to find one that is uh, matches my passenger side, which is pretty in good condition. Um, but this will definitely be a lot better than this one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace those and I'll show y'all how uh, to put the covers on after this. All right, so to take this off, all you need is to pop these off. Some of them are harder to uh, pop off. So you just need to use a pry tool, you know, like this one. So you just pry it and pull it off. But to get the armrest off, you need a 14 mil and you just put it in there and unbolt it and it's that simple you just unbolt it and then bolt the new one on all right so i went ahead and replaced it uh put the new one in and then for the passenger one i took this good one off um because i bought this from a junkyard off of one truck so i wanted them to match as much as possible um and if i can find one that is as good as this then i'll go ahead and put this one back on but as far as right now i'll put the bad ones on uh this one's not too bad um but still uh it got little scuffs here and there uh so i'll put those on it's pretty easy and then all you need to do is just put the caps back in and that should be it for the uh, armrest so to put the covers 
what you're going to need is to spray some silicone spray on the armrest. And then these are labeled uh, left and right. So I'm guessing the left one is the driver's side. So all we need to do is just put this on. And it should come back here. It's going to be a little tight, but open there tight so yeah they're on oh. but they are loose um, that's why I bought the other one uh, these armrests because I I thought these were gonna fit tight and I contacted the seller uh, he said he said do you want me to send you another one he didn't I don't like talking bad about people but he just completely ignored me and so I'm not gonna recommend anybody buy these. I mean, if you want to just to put them on and you don't care about how loose they are, then go ahead. But I'm just not happy with how loose they fit. Quality wise, they match the leather and everything. It's just, they fit loose. So, uh, you know, it's your decision what you want. As far as me, um, I'll put them on for now since I bought them, but I really don't like how loose they are. And you do the same thing with this one. Um, you just, it's labeled right. So you just put it on, you slide it on, and then you pull. They're supposed to be a lot tighter and they're supposed to be snug to the armrest. But yeah, that's the covers. But yeah, uh, that will do it for this video and the armrest. If, uh, if you like this video, uh, go ahead, um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll have uh, more videos coming. So, see y'all next video.